So row three is work one single crochet in the next eight, work one double in the next 20 doubles, work one single in the next 10 singles, chain one and turn. So you would have chained one and turned on the previous row as well. And by now you should just realise that we do this when we get to the end. So let's do our one single crochet in the next eight singles. So going into our stitch, so our chain one counts as our first stitch, remember? But you already know that because you've followed along with this pattern. So you're going back loops only, single crocheting for these eight stitches here. Oh, get on there. Because I'm crocheting over the camera. Doesn't look like I am, but I am. That's one more. Jeez, oh, I'm having a good one. Our next stitch is our double crochet. And this is when we need to do one double crochet in the next 20 stitches. I need to change my angle that I'm sitting. There we go. So work across for 20 stitches working double crochets into the back loops only. And now we're going to work one single crochet into the next 10 stitches. So we get to the end, chain one and turn. Row four, work one single crochet into the next ten single crochets, work one double crochet in the next twenty, work one single crochet in the next eight, chain one and turn. So let's do one in the next ten single crochets. So you would have chained one and turned from the row below. Always working into the second stitch because the chain one's our first. Working our way along. And then we want to work one double crochet in the next 20 double crochets when we get there. And you'll know because the row, stitch below will change to a double crochet because we want a double crochet in that stitch. Now work 20 across. And now work one single crochet into the next eight single crochets until we get to the end, chain one and turn. Row five, work one single into the next eight single crochets and work one double crochet in the next 20 double crochets. Work one single crochet in the next 10 single crochets, chain one and turn. So let's do one single crochet in the next eight. So we've done our chain one and turn from our previous row. And we're going to work eight single crochets across until we get to our double crochets. And now we need to work 20 double crochets across. up to our single crochets and it's 10 single crochets across, chain 1 and turn. Row 6 to 11 you need to repeat rows 4 and 5 3 more times, so it's 6 more pattern rows. And work in a chain 3 and turn for the button flap on row 11. So row 6 you go back to row 4, and then you do row 5 and repeat that three more times. If you can't remember how to do it, just whiz back in the video and find row four of this section. And you want to repeat row four and five three more times. So at the end of row 11, we're going to chain three. Oops, there. There you go. We're going to chain three because we're going to start our button flap if you want to add it on. If not, you don't have to. You can leave it and then you can just sew up all the sides and use elastic in the top of the waist instead of the button flap. 
but I'm going to show you how to do it. So what we need to do, looking at our pattern, it says the chain 3 is the first stitch of the of this row in every other row. So row 1, work 1 double crochet into the next 9 double next 9 single crochets. So we're turning our work So the next nine stitches, so that's one, two, three, and just go across until you've done nine. So what it's going to do is have ten stitches because our first one is our chain three, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then it says, we need to chain three. Sorry, missed where I was up to in the pattern. So that's one, two, and three. And then turn, and we'll have one chain three and nine double crochets. That's what we should have had, and we did, because we just counted them on our previous row. So chain three and turn. It's got a bit dark because I think it's going to rain outside, so I hope the lighting's still okay for you guys. Row 2, skip 1 double crochet, 1 double crochet in the next 6, skip 1 double crochet, 1 double crochet in the top of the chain 3, chain 3 and turn. So you want to skip 1 double crochet, and then 1 double crochet in the next 6. So skip that, this is our first skipping that one going into that one and then it says do six so that's one two three four oops four five and six and then it says Skip one and then one double crochet in the top of chain three. So our next stitch is there. So we're skipping that one and working into the top of the chain three. So we have to count up three stitches one, two, and three. Pushing our hook in. Try and get under two loops. And then working our stitch. I don't even hear those voices in the background, but it's my other half and his friends. They're supposed to be being quiet, but I think they forgot about it. Doesn't matter. Row three. One double crochet. Sorry, skip one double crochet. One double crochet in the next four double crochets. Skip one double crochet. One double in the top of the chain three, chain three and turn. So we do add chain three, and then we turn our work around, and it says to skip one double crochet and one double in the next four. So skipping one, so that was the chain where the chain comes out. Skip one, go into here. Back loop only. Keep trying to focus on the back work. There you go. So that's working four, so that's one, two, three, and four. And then we want to skip one and work into the top chain three. So skipping one, which is here, working into the top of the chain three here. Chain up three and turn it around. As you can see this is starting to get smaller. Row four, work one double in the next four doubles and one double in the top of the chain three. So 
going into the next four, so that's one, two, three, and four. And then top of the chain three. And then row five, work one double crochet. So we need to chain a three. And then work one double crochet in the next four and one into the top of the chain three. Sorry, keeps trying to focus on the stuff at the back here and not what we're working on. So we're just doing one double crochet all the way across. And we're still working in our back loops. And then one into the top of the chain three. And now, <coughs> a two. Excuse me. We want to finish off. So, breaking your yarn or cutting it. This one's pretty easy to break, so that's no problems. Now we have our button flap. And where we've skipped those holes there, uh, sorry, those stitches there. This is where we can use our buttons to adjust our tightness or looseness of our nappy cover. So you want to find some buttons that are going to be big enough to go into these holes. When we start to sew it up, the button flaps up on the top here, we're going to start sewing it from this corner down here. We're going to sew up around there. And I've cut off about a metre or a yard of yarn and that should be plenty to sew up around the crutch and also up the side here. So I'm just going into the end stitches and working a whip stitch, what I call a whip stitch, and you just go through the stitches from the back to the front. do that all the way around the crutch area. And the back area of the crutch is bigger than the front so you're gonna have to try and lay it down flat and just maneuver it so it's lining up the edges. And once you've done your crutch area you want to go to the side that has the button flap on it. And we're only gonna sew up to where the button flap starts because you want this little bit left open at the waist so just so to there down to the bottom of the leg so after you've sewn all your ends in you'll need to find some buttons and sew them on this is my finished product I've got to find some buttons to match this and my one piece sweater as well don't forget to share your photos on our Facebook page or send me a photo to the email in the description box below. Thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe because there will be a lot more videos coming. And there's also a pattern link for this pattern on Kat's blog and I'll put in a link for you there also.